Let's see who's next. Oh, Buddy the Humper. So we had a wiener dog looking thing. <laughs> and it, I don't think it was, it was like, it looked like Lily, like kind of a Rottweiler, black and tan, like tan. And he was like long and short legged, but he wasn't really a wiener dog. I think he was honestly like a Rottweiler and wiener dog mix or something. I don't know, but he was kind of a funny looking dog. And all he did was like hump everybody. But at the time I didn't know like what that meant. I just thought it was funny, you know, like he just, bouncing around like a little bunny and he would always get in trouble and I think he had a lot of accidents too and here's the thing okay like no offense to me papa but um he was like the kind of person that I think craved having a puppy and getting a puppy kind of like people like love getting pregnant I love having a baby but then it's like it's an 18 year commitment plus like it's not even like after 18 years, you're done with responsibility. Now, they might stick around, like, their whole entire 50, 60, 70 years of life until one of you dies, you know, until one of you outlives each other. So, that, like, having a kid is a really long commitment. And I feel like that's the same with a dog. Like, it's a really big commitment, but a lot of people just crave, like, getting a puppy, the feeling, and, like, the joy the puppy brings, you know? But then they gotta, like, train it and live with it and take care of it and feed it. And, like, they don't always... It's like... A lot of humans crave that and like I get it like I, I I think about it and I I feel bad for my kids like I want them to have a little puppy but thankfully the other ex-spouses all have animals so I feel like you know you're covered you got them at different houses like you don't have to have it in my dude um and I know I probably seem like a monster but yes I think about it like I just want like a teacup Yorkie or a little Pomeranian or like the cutest Chihuahua ever and I want to name it local again um, but uh, I know that they come with like a lot of responsibility and if we just want to go anywhere ever every time we leave the house we have to make sure that animal is taken care of and I am already maxed out of like taking care of people and that's just like I'm I'm at the point where like we have three kids I have a husband like I, I have family that like I want to make sure I'm available for it and I just don't have the space right now and yeah I'll feel really bad when I no longer have kids if I just get a puppy because then it's like sorry kids I said no your whole life so I'm gonna have one now you know like ah like because I struggle like I'm like well if I don't have kids to take care of then yeah maybe I'll have time for a dog um and the energy and I was like I, I want to pour into my kids and give them the energy that I have I don't want to try to split that up right now <laughs> okay so buddy the humper um <laughs> he that's like all i remember of him is he's always in trouble for like humping everybody's legs and it was like no calm down um so this story is tragic also so i'm gonna try not to laugh <laughs> because it's just how i do okay it's how i handle it what's a little wiener dog slash rottweiler whatever look he was i don't i don't really know <clears throat> and so he was really excited about getting in these puppies and stuff and i think buddy was one of those puppies that was like an instant like we well, should not have done that <laughs> because he was like a lot of work and humpy and whatever so one day i distinctly remember and i i i'm pretty sure i didn't dream this because it, it stuck with me for a long time and I felt bad about it. Um, so we were just taking a drive, me and my dad, and we had Buddy. And then all of a sudden, he opened the door and like, then we went home and we didn't have Buddy anymore. <laughs> so Buddy somewhere in a field, and like, you know, we lived out in the country so you got to hang out with like the elk and stuff. The elk were really cool. I really liked seeing those and the deer and the antelope play. And now Buddy's playing with them. So that is something I, <laughs> I think about when I think about dogs. Uh, next. <laughs>